Que onda and welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Today we're vlogging with the X-Pro3, which is kind of a weird thing to say. I have a microphone attached to it now and an ND filter. So let me know how this looks. I'm shooting 4K. Uh, I think it's like the maximum bit rate, which is like 200 megabits a second. So I don't know how this is going to look because I don't have the flip out screen. But I do like this setup because A, it's small um, and I could look directly at the camera so it looks like I'm actually making eye contact with you. I don't know what it is you're doing right now, but hi. Um, instead of kind of like looking off to the side because of the monitor. But today we're going to be shooting with a 35 millimeter because I just got that back because I gave my 27 mil to Manny because I like to shoot tighter. Um, so let's just have fun. Oh, and by the way, we're in old Pasadena. There's a lot of freaking cool alleys here. So let's get to it. All right, it's voiceover time. Hello, this is my voice. Because I can't say Kionda because I already did that earlier in the video. Anyways, we're back in old Pasadena doing some POV street photography uh, videos. And the reason I'm always here in the area is because I don't know if I've mentioned this in the past, but I actually work in the area. I've worked in the area for about six years, except last year. Last year doesn't count because everything was closed, but kind of just getting my feet wet and warming up because I have no idea what I was going to shoot other than like, oh, it's overcast and there's a lot of clouds and I kind of want to go for a moody look. And I, I like this photo. I like the way I framed it up between the um, light pole and I guess whatever that utility box was. I want to say like circuit breaker box for the city, but I'm not 100% sure. Kind of a quiet day too because it was, as you can see, it was overcast, really cold and uh, windy. Well, not, I don't know if you could really tell if it was super windy, but it, the wind was starting to kind of like go on and off, uh, which ended up picking up a lot during the evening. We actually lost power at the building that my job's located at. So I got to go home early yesterday. So yay. Uh, but it also sucked because um, the one time that I didn't pack my little flashlight is the one time I actually needed it. I mean, granted, I had the light on my phone, but I didn't realize that on iPhones after a while, the light will shut off because I had it on for a good, like maybe 30 minutes. So I don't know if the actual light bulb inside the phone heats up or maybe it cuts power to it so it doesn't overheat. I don't know, but I had to restart my phone and it was fine. So it was kind of weird, but that's also why I like to carry an actual like flashlight in my pocket because, um, you know, for situations like that where you can't really rely on your phone and if you do have to rely on it i'd rather use it to you know call for help or anything like that if if you know the situation um required it because i'd rather conserve battery um i also finished squid games recently um i'm not gonna spoil anything for those of you who haven't seen it but wow i just completely blown away how good that series is i'm also really enjoying the memes from squid games um they're just amazing and so freaking funny and uh, I love it. You know, I didn't really think I'd get into this because this is really, that was actually my first like real exposure to um, to Korean, like cinematography and just anything Korean. Because um, I know my girlfriend has seen a couple of K, uh, like K-dramas and she's also like, likes a, a couple of um, songs from BTS and all that. But I've never really gotten into something Korean. And I think it's just, amazing the kind of scale that they were able to uh, put into the sets that they built for the game or not for the game for the show and the actors are phenomenal and I think it's just really funny now that I hear people arguing which was better the sub or the dub because uh, for those of you who don't know I watch anime and I usually watch either or it just depends on what I want to uh Either if I want to, if I'm in the mood for reading, I'll watch with subtitles because typically the uh, the uh, scripting and all that's a little bit more accurate. But uh, you know, I I still prefer English dub, and I also have a lot of friends that are in voice acting, so like I kind of want to support them as well. But I just think it's funny that the whole debate that was in the anime community is now mainstream with this show. I I just find it really hilarious. But anyways, tangents aside, because I feel like I got off on attention. I have no idea why I stopped here. I think I was trying to figure out like what, if I wanted to shoot the guy that was coming out of the truck or anything, uh, but I actually kind of like camp out here for a little bit and get this lady framed up between the cables and the cone. 
I really like this. I kind of wish I had a tighter lens. Like, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want the 56 f1.8 uh, because well, when Manny brought me the 35 millimeter f2, I played around with that 56 and wow, really impressed with that lens. My only hesitation for buying it is that it doesn't have weather sealing. And as you guys know, I absolutely love to get wet and drenched when it's raining. It doesn't really bother me, but I'd rather invest in equipment that is weather sealed like my 10 to 24 and the uh, 35 F2. Maybe I'll pick up the 50 um, F2 or just for, you know, f it, I'll get the um, 50 1.0 because that thing's absurdly large. But um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to get a third lens for the Fuji system. I just don't know what that is yet because I'm really enjoying the coverage I have with the 10 to 24 and then the 35 is kind of like my middle of the road. So not too wide, not too tight, but I could still crop and all that good stuff. Also, I'm surprisingly enjoying vlogging with the um, X-Pro3. It's not really ideal for vlogging. That's what the like XS10 and the X-T4 are for. But I kind of prefer not having the flip out screen because now I can make direct eye contact with the with the lens to make it look like I'm actually making eye contact with you at home or on your phone or wherever it is you're at watching this video. And um, yeah, it's just it's so much fun. It's so much lighter than bringing my R6 and my 24 to 70. And so I kind of like just having the one lens camera set up for the time being like I uh and also, like, I was considering getting a secondary uh, body strictly just for the 10 to 24 so I could vlog with. But it's one of those things where, like, yeah, it would be really nice to have, but I probably don't really need it because, or rather, I can't really justify spending, you know, a few hundred dollars more on, let's say, a, a used XT3 uh, because I've seen them go for like seven or eight hundred bucks on the used market, or even buying like an XT4 just because. I, I try to keep my 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 gear um, to a minimum because I feel like once I start bringing too much gear, unless it's a paid shoot, uh, you know, you don't really need a whole lot for street photography. You just need a, a camera with good autofocus, um, preferably your favorite camera so you enjoy shooting it, and a solid lens like this 35 f2 that kind of covers everything I need. And as you can see here with this shot, I was kind of hoping for somebody to walk through because um, I was using the these really like dried out uh, plants as kind of like a frame and also to kind of give it that fall vibe, you know, because it's already fall here in LA and it's finally cold. So I kind of wanted to give it that, you know, that flair that we we all uh, needed. But that's also why I kind of like the X-Pro3 a lot it's because it's forcing me to slow down, kind of wait. And I took a couple photos just to see what my framing would look like and I actually finally get somebody walking through. This older gentleman with a pink hat just walks on through, and I really like the framing. Um, I noticed that the reds, though, in that shot are a little magenta. I think I might have messed up my colors, because I've been shooting... Well, I shoot everything raw, but um, for the most part, right now, my current uh, go-to like film simulation that I had in post from Adobe, because it's not really made by Fuji, is the uh, ProNeg High. And so that adds a lot of contrast, but I know it kind of messes with the reds a little bit. So I gotta, I probably gotta go back and tweak it a little bit because I like my having my reds look red, and not magenta, because no one likes magenta that much, unless you're a Canon shooter like me. But even then, I still kind of like mess with the uh, the tint a little bit on the C70 because that one tends to go a little more on the magenta side, and I usually pump back, dial it back just a little bit, just to kind of give it a little bit of greenery for balance, because it's all about balance when you're editing balance in the force i don't know where i'm going with this joke or tangent or whatever but um i feel like i've gotten some decent shots and you know the reason i picked up the 35 f2 again well manny didn't really use it that much because he likes to shoot wider so we were talking like hey let's swap lenses and he's like yeah i'm down and he does like the 40 mil focal length because it's like a slightly wider 50 millimeter but it's a slightly tighter 35 and since he plans to shoot um like uh bedouin photography with it uh typically having a wider lens works better 
And I'm also going back here because I checked my focus. And this is why you always want to check your focus, check your images after is I missed focus. The photo was completely blurry, but I ended up nailing this one. I really like the leading lines of this with the gentleman just sitting on his brake. I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was trying to pick, take a picture of this uh, ladder. And yes, there is an adult store in old Pasadena. It is quite funny. Um, but going back to what we were saying about Manny um, swapping lenses with me, I typically like to shoot 50 millimeter because like I said earlier in the video, it's not too wide, it's not too tight. It's just enough where you could isolate your subject like in this photo but still provide context where like, oh, okay, they're in like some sort of like cityscape or urban landscape. So that's why I decided to go back to it. And just cause I felt with the 10 to 24, I have like, I think a 35 or 36 mil equivalent. So having a 40 millimeter equivalent kind of doesn't make sense because it's not that much tighter. And again, I could get shots like this. So it's a, uh, I really miss this lens and I love it so much. So I'm probably not going to get rid of it. If, if I do get rid of it, it'll probably be for the 33 1.4. But with that said, this is the end of the voiceover. Back to the vlog. Alrighty, that's it. That was a fun, quick little outing here in old Pasadena with the X-Pro3 and the uh, 35 F2. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, double tap the thumbs down button twice. Trust me, it works. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, be badass. Peace.